So we're talking the triangle proportionality theorem. And we just got done talking about how you can compare the pieces to each other. Compare the, the smaller parts up here, compare these two parts side by side, you can compare these two parts side by side. And so we're looking at here, and we wanna solve this for x. And again, triangle proportionality theorem is all based on having parallel lines. And so I wanna notice which pieces are related. Now, um, let's pretend we just had the two and the five here. And so the problem is, is if you just write a proportion really quickly with these four pieces, you're gonna set up a bad proportion because this 14 is not related to the five or the two. And so you have to relate the 14, the entire piece to the seven, the five plus the two. And then the idea is if I compare the 14 to the seven, I can compare the X with the two. So I can just say, okay, 14 over seven equals X over two. And I could just cross multiply and solve that. The other option I have, and let's just do 14 times two, seven times X, so that's 28. And then I'm gonna divide by the seven and get four. I'm hoping that most of you notice that seven times two is 14 and two times two is four and that's how we're getting there as well. The other option you have here is you could compare the five and the five is compared to, um, if we look at the five, it needs a number here. And so to figure out what goes there, we have to take our whole 14 and do 14 minus whatever this is right here. And so we've got to subtract that, that x. And so I could write a second proportion here that is 5 compared to 14 minus x and the 2 compared to the x. And so when you're setting up your proportion, just make sure that you take your time and set up a good one. Don't compare things that aren't related. And so you cross multiply 5 times x, 2 times 14 minus x. Make sure you distribute that 2. You get 28 minus 2x is 7x. And then we can add 2x to both sides and we end up, sorry, this was the 5x because 5 stays a 5. Add 2x, I was getting excited. I was thinking about the 7x that was coming. And we divide by the seven. And we're back to where we started from, or at least the same answer that we had with the first one.